Greetings, fellow civil engineer. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are roughly 300,000 civil engineers working in the U.S. Of those, about 10,000 work for the federal government. Having worked in both the federal system and the private sector, I can list several trade-offs between the two career options and hopefully help you decide which path you wish to take. Let's begin. Application process. This aspect has plenty of trade-offs. As a federal employee, all applications will go through the same website, usajobs.gov. You make a resume using their template, you upload your transcripts, and you submit the same documents every time you apply. The USA job system is efficient and makes keeping track of all your applications easy. You can also save your job searches and get automatic notifications whenever an agency announces a new job that meets your criteria. The downside of the application process is that it's as slow as molasses. For example, I applied to my current job back in November but didn't start working for them until February. And I was already in the system working in the same city, so there was no moving necessary. There's just so much red tape in the process that you and the hiring manager have to hack through. In the private sector, you can find jobs in a variety of ways. Search sites like Indeed and ZipRecruiter, networking through friends and former classmates, and even simply emailing your resume directly to the company's hiring manager. With private companies, you don't have to navigate through a massive amount of red tape to get hired. The process of applying, interviewing, and getting hired can take less than a week. Next, we look at professional development. Private sector wins here by a wide margin. If you work as a civil engineer for a private consulting firm, you will learn how to use cutting-edge design programs such as Risa 3D, StatPro, Revit, etc. It'll build on what you learned as a civil engineering student, and you'll develop a strong skill set that will make you valuable at any company should you choose to switch jobs. In college, you learn the theory behind engineering, but when you get into the actual design work, it's all about these programs. Mastering them makes you more valuable in the job market. Government work, on the other hand, is generally far less technical. Instead of making designs yourself, you're usually reviewing someone else's designs to ensure they meet your agency's requirements. As a government engineer, I've rarely touched design programs, and for most of my career, I've been closer to a project manager than a design engineer. That's not to say my job doesn't require engineering knowledge, it does, it just doesn't get as technical as private sector work. Next, we look at job security. Government offers way more job security. It's almost impossible to fire a federal employee. It can happen, but it's a long and drawn out process. As long as you perform at a very basic satisfactory level, you keep your job and you advance in the pay scale. Also, federal employment is largely unaffected by financial crises as your agency's budget won't depend on the health of the economy. So even when the market collapses like it did in the Great Recession, you'll still keep your job. On the other hand, private sector consulting firms can fire you at any time for any reason at the drop of a hat. Sometimes it's not even performance related. They can lay you off simply because they lack a backlog of projects to justify your continued employment. When a private sector company lays you off, you'll find out the same day and get booted from the building. It's bad. Next, we look at mobility. This one is mixed. As a federal employee, you can qualify for a permanent pay change of station, or PCS, where Uncle Sam will pay to move you and all your household goods to the new location. If you choose to move to a different job or even work for a different agency, you won't lose any seniority in terms of time and service to towards retirement. It happens seamlessly such that you won't even miss a paycheck when you make the switch. On the downside, the process of finding a new job and moving can take months, even when you're already a federal employee or even at the same agency. The private sector offers a high degree of fluidity as it's easy to jump from one job to another. However, going from job to job over a short period of time looks bad on a resume as hiring managers want to minimize turnover. They'll be reluctant to hire you if they think they'll just ditch the company and take a job somewhere else. Sometimes moving to a different company can be a fast track for earning a better salary. Which brings me to the next topic, salary. When you control for years of experience and education level, the salaries for private sector and federal civil engineers are usually about the same. For federal employees, your pay will depend on your grade and step, which is the same across the board for all employees depending on your position and geographic area. You do get higher pay if you work in a high cost of living area, but it's usually not enough to offset the difference. Unlike their federal counterparts, private sector engineers have the option of negotiating for a higher salary. That can come in handy if you're an especially talented or knowledgeable engineer, as you'll have the leverage to demand higher pay.
As far as benefits go, all federal employees are eligible for the same health care, dental care, and life insurance options across the board, although some of it may depend on the state you're in. Conversely, private companies vary greatly in the scope and quality of the health benefits. I would say that major corporations will likely offer superior benefits than the federal system, whereas small businesses would offer less impressive benefits. That's just a generalization. I would also note that federal employees get pensions through the federal retirement federal employee retirement system and are eligible for the thrift savings plan. So in conclusion, both the federal system and the private sector offer great careers. You just have to pick the one that is best for you. And that's all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. Until next time, bye.